So I'm playing a Barry and Sharks deck in the Eggsy event. I'll be using 7th Ascension to add a 7th one spell either on top of my deck or I'll add it to my hand. If my opponent has an extra deck monster on the field, then I can add the spell to my hand. Then I can banish 7th Ascension to activate the 7th one spell to special summon a Chaos number from the extra deck. And because our opponent has a set card in the back, we're going to summon number C104. When it is special summoned, it can destroy one spell or trap card. And because our opponent Stealth Kragen turned all of our monsters into water, we can special summon Abyss Shark to add Dream Shark, then special summon it from the hand. Our opponent destroys our Abyss Shark. Now we can normal summon our Tuna to grab a Buzz Shark from the deck, using Buzzsaw to special summon Crystal Shark from the deck, to then exit summon it to Nash Knight. Using Nash Knight, we'll suck up Kragen, sending Crystal Shark to the graveyard. Then we'll activate Crystal Shark to target Buzzsaw to special summon from the graveyard. And now I'll have to update my extra deck toolbox because we do not have enough to OTK during this battle phase. So I might have to add Crystal Zero Lancer because that card helps with OTKs. But it looks like the opponent's going to concede. So one advantage this deck has in the event is that we can special summon. And if our opponent activates a Flying Sea, then we can tribute summon it with one of our level 5 fish. Flying C prevents you from Eggsy summoning, which is a broken card in this event. But fortunately, Flying C was emergency banned. So if you're still playing in this Eggsy event, then you won't have to worry about it. One of the downsides to the deck is that the Baryan Untopia Field spell usually does nothing most games. It requires niche situations to be useful, like having a number monster on the field or activating a rank up spell. And it doesn't search or build up resources. So oftentimes it's just a dead card that can cause you to brick. So Zodiac ranks up to Zodiac Dryden, and then pops the Kaiju. Now I did draw into a call by the grave. Again, Zodiacs, I try to save it for Zodiac Dryden because they can recycle it. They can use another Zodiac monster to bring Dryden back from the graveyard, attach materials to it so we can keep popping monsters. So we'll banish it when they try to bring it back from the graveyard next turn. So they negate Kragen with Valor, but we're gonna go ahead and let that pass. Activate Kragen to summon our Kragen spawns. Go into the battle phase here. I forgot to set called by on the field, but it looks like my opponent bricked. So here we're going to special summon our extenders, but we're not going to exit summon in case our opponent has some kind of trap card back there. So we do have enough to OTK here, so we're just going to go and swing in for the kill. And that's GG's. So here we're going second with an opponent with an extra deck monster in the field, and we have a 7th one spell in the hand. So we're going to use Foolish Goods to send 7th Ascension to the graveyard. We'll banish it to activate 7th one to summon Chaos number 104. We'll pop a card, and our opponent does try to negate this with Utopic Draco Future. And we negate it with Chaos 104, cutting their life points in half and removing a card from their hand. We'll Edzy summon into number 101 Salon on our arc. Lyralist chains in effect, making itself unable to be destroyed by Battle of Card Effects. Silent Honor Arc resolves, attaching Utopic Draco Future as material. And Lyralist does not take battle damage. And then Eggsy summon into a Zeus to wipe the field. So Lyralis is really good at being able to play through an interruption. So I'm not sure which card to hit with Call by the Grave. Unfortunately, I was not able to stop them from comboing. So 
so now they're gonna go ahead and go into Downward Magician and then go into an 8 Material Zeus. Now we do have a Foolish Goods in the hand, so we'll use it to send an Ice Spirit to the Graveyard. Then we'll banish it from the Graveyard to add Gamma Seal to the hand. And there goes that. We'll Normal Summon our Red Hand Shark, get rid of one of their monsters. So Right Hand Shark and Dream Shark will not be able to Exe Summon. Konami really messed up by not letting Dream Shark Exe Summon into Rank 4 and Rank 5 Exes, like Lantern Shark and Buzzsaw. We do get lucky here and get a Buzzsaw Shark. We'll Special Summon our Right Hand Shark from the Graveyard. Using Buzzsaw Shark, we'll Exe Summon into Stealth Kragan. And before our fifth summon, we'll finish off our opponent. And my favorite thing about this deck is resolving 7th Ascension to summon C104. And resolving its effect is just a thing of beauty. Cutting their life points in half and discarding a card and popping a back row. So overall, I had fun with this deck. But if I had to go back, I'd probably try to add Utopic Draco Future into the deck. You would summon Utopic Draco Future by summoning Bahamut Shark, then detaching one material of Special Summon Rebarian Shark. You can then Special Summon Full Armored Ray Lancer by using Rebarian Shark as material, and then overlay Bahamut and Full Armored Lancer into Utopic Future. That would send Rebarian Shark to the graveyard, which lets you add 7th one to the top of your deck. And now you can Edzy summon Utopic Draco Future, using Utopic Future as material. And that's all for now. And remember, I leave a link to the deck list in the description. So I'll see you guys next time.